previously in War on the Sea, Operation Watchtower. While our main focus has been on the building of facilities on the Renal Islands, we have seen several Japanese task groups heading south towards Port Moresby. These groups, incorporating some of the heaviest warships in the Japanese Navy, have carried out two bombardments of the base, rendering the airfield and the port facilities largely negligible. To counter this, we have sent two task groups of submarines to the area in an attempt to defend what's left of Port Moresby before we can secure further resources to rebuild in the area. Command fears with the Mark 14 torpedo reliability issues we may be sending these subs on a one-way journey for little impact. However, our men are well trained and fearless in the face of adversity. With our fleet's assets being wildly outnumbered and outgunned, focus will shift to gaining territory and sacrificing everything to ensure we can sink warship tonnage and in turn start building a fleet of heavy warships capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Japanese forces. The following action takes place between 8am on the 7th of September to 6am on the 11th of September 1942. At 25 minutes past 12, two Wildcat Patrol has spotted a task group of Japanese forces. It looks like heavy cruiser, heavy cruiser, heavy cruiser, heavy cru four heavy cruisers, a light cruiser and three destroyers are heading towards the Rennell Islands. Uh, we've got Blackfish heading in that area. We've also got our task group with our merchant ship heading to Rennell as well. We do not want them bumping into these boys. Right, let's get this position radioed back to command. We need to get some aircraft out here. Uh, Rennell does have Avengers which we can send in torpedo runs against this group. And maybe we can get some B-17s from uh, the New Hebrides should just about have the range to get here as well. So let's radio this back and get these boys um, shadowing this group. Okay, this is the aircraft group that in, in question. Let's see what well, we've got. Four Avengers with torpedoes. Right, let's get them um, on a course up here to intercept those. We also have um, Blackfish here. Let's change her course to head in that direction. How is Blackfish doing? 24 torpedoes, perfect. And here's the group I'm talking about, Task Force 22. Um, yeah. Back from New Hebrides, what have we got? We've got eight Avengers. They're not going to be able to do that distance. So if we get some 1,600 pound arm piercing bombs, they've got an endurance of 748 miles. Yeah, it's 600 miles up there. Look. Let's get them up there as well. Uh, do we re-divert these guys? I don't know. Possibly. We've got some spotter planes over here. Uh, we've got Task Force 4, Guardfish and Growler have successfully rearmed and are heading back out. And we've got uh, this Task Force, which doesn't have a name, uh, Tambo and Gato heading back to um, Port Moresby. Good. Uh, just before 1 o'clock. Avengers have made it to the task group with those heavy cruisers. Right, so let's let's split these guys up. Let's um, have you first of all. Let's get hit the deck. Let's get you over uh, this side, and then we get Avenger three. I want you to come over this side. Will Avenger four follow you. No. Okay, Avenger 3 is falling uh, with Avenger 4, so these two are going to do an attack from this side. We're going to get those two to do an attack from that side. And stay away from. I'm getting a little bit too close. Let's head over here until we're ready to attack. Okay. First group is going to attack. It's going to attack the lead heavy cruiser on the port side. Group two is going to attack the lead heavy cruiser on the starboard side. And if their torpedoes miss, then they can always have a chance of hitting the other one on the far side. It'll also split 
the anti-aircraft fire. Okay, there we go. We can see the other ones coming in. Oh, they're starting to do evasive maneuvers, so this may not work. What I might do is switch to target that one. If we tar target the Gammy. Torpedoes have been dropped, I think. We've got some enemy aircraft coming in. Zeros. Uh oh. Torpedoes hit onto the heavy cruiser. And we've got God knows how many zeros closing in on us. Goodness me. Well, we've got a smoking heavy cruiser in the background. Oh, they got us. A couple of smoking zeros from our tail gunner doing a grand job. But it wasn't meant to be. Oh, two torpedo hits on the Megami. And she has quite the fires going. Fire has been put out. Pairs underway. Still smoking. However, the inferno is no more. So confirmation: Megami took heavy damage and heavy flooding, but they were able to uh, save the ship pretty well. Not a bad attack, actually. That was a good attack. Unfortunately, if we could get that second attack from the other group, then we may have actually sunk her, but uh, it wasn't to be this time. Meanwhile, we got a potential... This is one of the um, where the battleship group spotted. Okay. Um, they haven't got any torpedoes, so they're going back to base. Isn't that typical? They're coming out there, hopefully, to intercept. What have we got in the terms of Avengers? Here we go. Course 362 miles. Yes, they can do it. They can do that. Let's get some Avengers heading that way. Now, from Cooktown, I'm going to send the B-17s because I'm not sure the Avengers can quite make that. Four hundred and thirty-seven miles. They might be able to. We'll get the Avengers up as well if it's possible. Meanwhile, we've got a Wildcat patrolling off this is the Renal Islands here. How do we got some enemy observation aircraft hanging around down the south tip of the island? So we'll send the Wildcat down here to see if we can find them. There he is. Go get him, boys. Yeah, we've stopped all these um, this spying going on. The float plane. It's got a tail gun up. There we go. He's gone. One less spy float plane in the area. And there could be a couple down here, so we're going to continue on our patrol. So we get the satisfaction of watching that one hit the sea. Any more of you down here? Here are our formation of B-17s. Hopefully, that's not a good sound. Oh, zeros, zeros coming in, is it? I 
another score of zero is coming in as well. And more, yeah, more. Shooting them down quite nicely, though. Well, I think that's a bomber. That's a bomber going down. That's a fight, though. Here they come. Another fighter shot down. Another fighter shot down. Two more. Come on, we can do this, boys. Keep those guns blazing. These 50 cals must be red hot now. Hold the formation. Another one shot down. Another one shot down. Another one shot down. I'm going to stay in this lucky camera position. And another one shot down. Boys, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. We've lost, I think we've lost three bombers. But if we've, we've managed to successfully defend against eight zeros, we lost three bombers though. That was pretty good gunnery, boys. Pretty good gunnery. I'm happy with that. Oh, no, look! There's the other... Okay, we lost one bomber. Oh, that's even better. Well done, boys. Fantastic work. Several have been spotted in the area. I don't know if they have been... If they're just reconnaissance planes or they're taken off from enemy warships and enemy warships have now um, left the area, so they're having to, I don't know, <laughs> land on the sea. Right, begin the attack. We spotted them apparently. Oh yes, go for the underbelly where it's they're vulnerable. Fire! Oh, we missed. That was a what? Was that an attack run? Seriously, was that an attack run? Rookie pilot, rookie pilot. He had the belly open. Come on, boy. You can do it. I'll keep tracking him on the observation. Great gunners firing at us. Let's open up those 50 cals. He's a bit far out at the moment. Got him. Beautiful. See that observation clearly good luck for us when it comes to uh, air to air combat another float plane sensed into the drink I don't see him in the darkness oh yes I do there he is again I bet you he's not going to attack from underneath no he's not do why that is a terrible intercept group flying in front of him and then swoop round Yeah, not keen on that, but there we go. Got him smoking, but he's still in the fight. Come to our lucky view. Come on, let's get the finishing shots on him now. Lining him up. Beautiful, another kill for our boys. Happy days. And here they are. Right, where's spy plane number three, four? I don't know. Let's have a look on the radar. What can we see? There he is, boys. Target. And attack. Fire at will, boys. Fire at will. Got him. Nice! Well, these are small victories, but I will take them for the moment. We haven't had much luck in anywhere else, so a small victory is a victory. 
good for morale. There's nothing else. Meanwhile, the B-17s we sent after the battleship group have arrived. Finally, just before the close of play. Right, let's target uh, the battleship. Okay, let's get these coming in. We're going to do individuals, so they'll drop the bombs. Oh, this one. Uh, okay, this is let's target the Conga battleship. I think this is <laughs> this is actually a um, potentially a lookout aircraft or a um, reconnaissance aircraft which has just been dragged into the conflict. But the Congo has turned nicely so we can hopefully get a nice run of bombs from stern to bow. Smoking B-17 to begin with. Ooh, another smoking B-17. Bombs are away. Oh, and we've got potentially oh the battleship and the heavy cruiser going to collide. And confirmation: we lost three aircraft. Uh, moderate damage and moderate flooding to the Congo blast battleship and the heavy cruiser with uh, that's a tone class heavy cruiser as well isn't it the target was the Congo but obviously some of the bombs slip wide and hit the uh, heavy cruiser so moderate damage on both I think this is probably going back to port for repairs anyway so again at 5 30 on the 8th of September the task group has made it to the Renal Islands right let's get the cargo unload unloaded sorry speak proper English uh, and at Renal Islands we've got 300 engineering fuel 5,000 troops and 17,000 supplies now do we upgrade to a level 4 port or I think we get an, a level 3 airfield that allows us uh, well, 4 Avengers it's not the great one we wanted and we probably need to upgrade what we need 300 so another run we'll get the uh, airfield up to a level 4 that's good right let's send these back as I say then we'll start plotting for taking over another island so there they go back to New Hebrides we've got some aircraft coming out now for the early patrols um, good news these guys have uh, completed their rearmament and they're heading back out to patrol these islands here Task Force 4 is still coming up here and going to patrol around this island just south of the Sullivan Seas for any ships coming in. Uh, we've got Task Force 24 who's going to patrol these sort of coastlines here. And we've got Blackfish who's coming into it around Guadalcanal as well. And just gone 20 past 7 on the 8th of September 1942. Got two sightings of submarines in the area, or oh, two ships in fact, maybe one submarine. Makes perfect sense. From the Renal Islands, what do we have? We have some Avengers. Let's get some. Ooh, depth charges or rockets? Let's go with rockets because I haven't seen rockets done before. So let's let's send them up with rockets. See how that goes. And over here at Santa Cruz Islands, what do we got? We got four Avengers. Uh, just one submarine. Let's send um, let's send them up with depth charges. So don't know how good the rockets are. Nice. Right. Okay. Good. So you got those two aircraft heading out. Those two flights of aircraft heading out. We've got Task Force Four. They're coming up here, and I guess we could send them up here, and they could sort of patrol around here to see if anything's coming through that gap which we've seen a lot of the battleships and stuff coming through there back and forth from home port we've got this group here which is coming down here so we've also seen um, lots of uh, ships coming this way so we're gonna send them around there we will patrol up there for the time being and see how that goes we've got the aircrafts out spotting We've also got Task Force 4 who's sort of patrolling around the ports here, one of the Japanese um, bases, and uh, Task Force 22 is heading back to New Hebrides. Wonderful. Okay, here are the Avengers with the rockets. 
have we it's cool. look, at, look at the actual sea it's like a mill pond it's beautiful can we see anything oh yes apparently it's over here our observers have spotted it I have not at least I have now there it is over there Right, we'll get each of these Avenger to uh, attack in independently. That way, the um, I'm not sure why they've opened the Bombay doors, but there we go. Um, we'll see how this goes. See how effective these rockets are. Okay, here come the Avengers. This uh, Type B submarine is making good ground. I think they've just dive planes have just moved down. Here come the rockets. Oh, good hits. There's a lot of damage being done there. Oh, there's a lot of damage being done there. I think that's a that is a great attack. Okay. Rockets from now on on the submarines. She is going down like a stone. That is not her diving. That is her in trouble. Yep, there she goes. She's gone. Fantastic. First decent kill of the day. Right, there we go. Rockets for submarine attacks from now on. Great stuff. Great stuff. And confirmation. The rocket attack did indeed destroy the U-boats for 3,700 tons. Six command points gained. Nice. And some clear seas. Ah, uh, these ones are going. Let's um, get them returning to base. Great, I was really pleased with that. Um, these ones go with depth charges, of course, but we'll see how that goes. Um, they're on their way now, so there's no point asking them to return back to base. And at 6.20, our Avengers have arrived in the area. And there they are. Right, let's not hang about. Let's... um. Go over here and let's have a look what we got. Yeah, we came straight over. So yeah, we got a battleship, two battleships, what it's things. Yeah, not a very good start today as we um, right in the uh, firing line. All right, let's get low. Okay, here we go, making our attack run on the battleship. Oh, we lost one. Uh, I think we've lost the entire flight. That wasn't the battleship we were going for, unfortunately. I don't know, it was this one here. So I don't know if the torpedo was dropped. Um, well, I don't think that attack was at all. Oh, here comes the torpedo, actually. It's going to pop. Yeah, they're going to avoid it. There he goes. Yeah, not a very good attack. Uh, started off badly by being uh, coming out of uh, uh, warp, as it were, uh, just above them. And at two minutes past seven on the 10th of September, we've spotted that group again. Right, let's get... Um, Avengers in the air with torpedoes. Of course, heading for there. Also from Cooktown. Uh, the Avengers here. Can we get those? 362? Yeah, we can. We'll get them heading up that way and we'll send the B-17 shortly after. And at half past seven, our Avengers arrive in the area and there is the battleship group. Cool. Okay, I've just split these up a little bit so they've got a wider formation as they come in. So hopefully the uh, the gunners will have to you know, separate a little bit so they're not coming side by side. Or 
this is an intense anti-aircraft fire. Oh, we've lost lead flight. Torpedo away. Oh, second flight down. Is the torpedo running true? That is the question. Both torpedoes are away. I think they've gone underneath the hull. They have gone underneath. That's unlucky. Meantime, I think we've mistimed that because the second flight should be coming in any second. Okay, anti-aircraft fire erupting over the destroyer. Here they come. God, the anti-aircraft fire is just incredible, isn't it? Goodness me! They've both been shot down. I don't know if they managed to get the torpedo away. I doubt it. We'll wait for a few seconds to see if there are any bubble streams. No, unfortunately I think that flight got shot down. So unfortunately the only two torpedoes we managed to get away um, went underneath the uh, battleship and failed to explode. Uh, maybe not necessarily duds, just um, went under the bow. Okay, two flights from Cook Island have made it to the location with the battleship. Where are they? There they are. Right, um, Avenger 5, I'm going to send you... Around the other side, please. So that flight will go that way. Um, start to make your depth. Make your depth. Make your altitude ready to attack. Once again, it's the same friends that we've been stalking for the last few occasions. What we'll do, I think we'll target the, the second battleship. It looks like the same um, ISE. So those two look exactly the same. So we're just going to um, descend here, circle around a bit until we are ready to go, and wait for the other group to be in position to go as well. And they're diving behind. We'll also target that battleship. Okay, here we are with Red Flight. Coming in, coming in from the port side. Guns starting to light up. Shells being hurled this way. There's also blue flight coming in from the other side. target. I think we've lost one. Torpedoes away. Lost another one. One of ours is gone. Torpedoes dropped and she is evasive manoeuvring. get any scores it doesn't look that way at the moment oh she's dodged the first lot second lot she may get no that's gone under I think that's gone under one's hit that's unfortunate that was a good run but she did some good evasive maneuvers and unfortunately we've only got one torpedo strike to show for it okay meantime we've got action with our convoy Keep an eye out what's happening. Let's have a look at Dale. Have we got torpedoes coming in or something? Either way, let's, um, let's crank the speed up. I'm going to start making some evasive maneuvers. Portland, can you see what's going on? Back down to Dewey. No, 
got the um Oh, it's right at the front. Torpedoes coming in. Dale is doing a evasive maneuvers. I don't see them. But they're coming in apparently. Right. Here come the torpedoes. Portland is struggling to avoid these. Come on, Portland. She's going to get hit by two. Fire's breaking out. Get on that. I see Free Freighter is in trouble as well. I don't, I don't see how she is going to try and turn into them. But I can't see uh, this ending very well. Again, looks like another two torpedoes are going to hit this one. Oh, we managed to avoid that one in front. Okay, one torpedo. Right, I think we've lost that ship. This next C3 freighter. Oh, she got her. Didn't quite dodge it. Right. Dale. Slow down. Start having a listen. See, our, our heavy cruisers, two torpedoes, and they're struggling to survive. They're heavy cruisers. No problems at all. Alright, can we hear her? Portland, have you got... They don't have um, acoustics. We get pinging actively from Dewey as well. And there we are. We were unable to locate the submarine after all that. Uh, the Portland received moderate damage and moderate flooding. Uh, the Type C Freighter received heavy damage and moderate flooding. Another one is similar, but the, uh, the the third C3 and Dewey were able to escape without any damage. Meanwhile, at 10 to 10, the B-17s from Cook Island have arrived to have a go at the battleship. Where are they? Battleships are over here. Yes, I see them. got some wildcats as well. Right, um, the second float, what I'm going to do, let's get you going down low. We're going to see if you can do some skip bombing. Okay, the orders have been given. The B-17s are commencing their attack run. The uh, enemy warships, as you can see, are starting to scatter and forming evasive maneuvers. These B-17s are carrying 1,600 pound armor-piercing bombs, so hopefully any damage that they cause will be reasonably significant, reasonably heavy. It's not going to be a perfect drop, but bombs away. couple of strikes on the rear of the ship. Oh, and a B-17 coming crashing down to Earth. And here comes the second B-17, timing again out. Coming in for some skip bombing. Now, I don't know how skip bombing to 1,600 pound bombs is going to go, but this is an experiment. This crew have bravely volunteered to give it a go. Not something you see every day. And hopefully the battleship is beginning to turn again to give us a better opportunity and a better visibility of her target broadside. 
It's not going to be a great angle. Oh, she got hit last second. Can you believe it? That was unlucky. At the end of that, confirmation we lost two aircraft. Uh, minor damage, minor flooding on the ISC battleship, unfortunately. Okay, that group is making its way to Port Moresby, where it's probably going to strike. Port Moresby has been, indeed been bombarded by the uh, enemy ships. But the submarine is trying to get there as quick as possible. Um, but we don't have anything else in the area, unfortunately. Meanwhile, north of the Solomon Sea, we have three submarines looking for enemy targets. And we found some, apparently. Oh, yes, we have battleships, heavy cruisers, and destroyers. Right. Okay, so we've identified the two battleships. We've got the Congo class and we've also got uh, Nagato class there. I think we're going to go for Nagato, I think. So let's, um, first of all, let's slow down. Let's get torpedoes. We'll get six of them. We'll do a small spread. If we can get a good 93% um, yeah, solution, 96%, 99 fire then. Right. You head in that direction. Down to 300 feet. Cod is not in a great position. I think I might fire at Cod and have a wider spread so it kind of can ricochet down the line of uh, ships perhaps. But for Bonefish, coming up to 78% solution now. Let's get in that ready to go. 96%, 99% fire. Torpedoes away. Right, well they're sorting themselves out. Cod. Here's Cod. Let's target. Oh, we've got some aircraft going over as well. Um, now, so we're going to do probably slightly wider. 5%. Wait till the solution builds. This is going to catch them, hopefully. Actually, going to 6 degrees. Fire. Okay, here come the torpedoes. Set one, set two, set three will be coming there. These look like they're going to be a little bit behind. She's doing evasive maneuvers. I think she's done a good job. I think maybe this cruiser may be in trouble behind. I think these are all going to miss. They've been sped up and successfully evaded. However, this cruiser here could be in a bit of bother. Where is her evasive maneuver is going to go? Oh, we got one on the um, battleship from the ones coming in from that direction. Oh, another... More hits on the heavy cruiser. More hits on the heavy cruiser. And the torpedoes rock on. Well, this cruiser looks to be in serious trouble. I've said that before. Now, this... Battleship, maybe. Oh, we've got the cruiser! Yes, indeed. That is a heavy cruiser sunk. Wow, that is just what we need to boost the morale of our troops. My goodness me, a submarine attack which was successful. We don't have many. I think she's evaded them quite well. But. How about this then? And that battleship's struggling a little bit. 
Happy days, right. Uh, all those torpedoes clear of any potential targets. Yeah, dismiss the con. Cod? Perhaps you can come up to periscope depth. I'm seeing a possible uh, rear shot on that one. Scope up. There she is there. Target. There. Can't see her yet. She's not showing up on our obs observed. There she is. Target. Rear tube. We got four torpedo in the rear. Let's try to reduce the spread. 99% angle. Fire. Oh, I think she's just going to evade. I think she's just going to evade them. She may get snagged by one, but I think she's just going to get lucky. Oh, they're just going to slip by. Even in a damaged state, she's managed to dodge them. Oh, unfortunate. Meanwhile, Bonefish could be in a bit of bother. Damage taken. How are they doing? Flooding. Crack on with that. Okay, Bonefish is in a little bit of trouble. Uh, her engines have been knocked out. We got in fire going on. Let's get working on that. Yeah, we're in trouble. Heavy damage, moderate flooding. Coming past. Oh, we're gonna have to blow ballast. When she blow? No. Hopefully. Okay, we are surfacing, that's good. Meanwhile, Bluefish is making a break for it. Oh, it's got quite a bit of time to run. Okay, it's not looking good. Oh, here we go. We've got no engines. Oh, they may collide, that would be nice. No. Slowing down, the instant slowing down. They dodge each other. can imagine the uh, Plaxon going for um, collision. Here we go, this is going to be deadly. Right, fire the gun. There you go, we're going to try and get some go. We don't have any propulsion. So, Far away as best we can. Before we die, we're gonna go down fighting. There we go. We've lost the bonefish. Bonefish is gone, but she caused some damage to the, uh, the destroyer, which is now burning. And they're wasting their depth charges, which is good. Have to pay respects to the poor crew of Bonefish. And confirmation uh, we lost the Bonefish, 2,410 tons. However, 
Bluefish, along with our loss of Bonefish and Cod, were able to sink a heavy cruiser for 9,000 tons. Um, the battleship Nagato, medium damage, minor flooding from the uh, oh, minor damage, sorry, minor flooding, um, and the destroyer minor damage, minor flooding, and also minor damage to this destroyer as well. So. The, uh, the brave gun crew of Bonefish didn't go down without a fight. 12 command points gained. Meanwhile, another two of our U-boats are hunting. They've spotted some. Oh, look. Let's head point north. Okay, we've got a destroyer. It's a heavy cruiser. That is the ISC um, battleship again. We've got two of those and some heavy cruisers, right? So let's get our torpedoes. Uh, four torpedoes, six of them. Four percent spread. We might just have to fire. I'm going to fire. From the heavy cruiser, we can see the first lot of. The first spread of torpedoes coming in. It's going to avoid that destroyer, I believe. Yeah. Is it going to avoid the heavy cruiser? Yeah. Actually, it looks like it's... Although we fired at this one, I don't think we're going to get there in time. We might get lucky and hit the second one. They are both ISE-class uh, battleships by the looks of things. They look, the s look identical, don't they? Sister ships... So uh, I think we'll have a look at this one because I think this one's got the greater chance of being hit. Meantime, we've got second lot of torpedoes in there and third lot of torpedoes coming in there. Now, if these torpedoes split the battleships, that will just be incredible. I couldn't believe that. But yeah, they definitely seem to be um, a better chance of hitting this second battleship. Hey! Two hits. There we go. Three hits. Nice. Fire breaking out. Four hits. Wow. Well, that's uh, that's a um, little surprise. Meanwhile, uh, the heavy cruiser's in in a bit of bother trying to dodge the second run of uh, torpedoes but that that's a good attack look the battleship is actually burning oh I think she's gonna she's got the speed to get away yeah she's safe meanwhile what about the other battleship oh they may catch her up Um, this third lot from the rear torpedo, they are probably most likely going to go um, spare because uh, these guys have obviously turned away from the course and they were predicted from that course. Ooh, they are looking in trouble. I like. Meanwhile, again, seem to just be able to outrun our torpedoes, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, she's out running our torpedoes. That's embarrassing. That's just embarrassing. Anyway, we're going to keep an eye on this battleship to see how she gets on. Bit of a fire breaking out in the front now. Could our luck finally be changing with these heavy warships of the Imperial Japanese Navy? A heavy cruiser which had been impervious to our attacks previously. Already sunk today. Could we claim our first battleship? And after much waiting, the uh, crews were able to resolve the fires, put them out, and uh, stop the flooding. Heavy damage, heavy flooding, but she is back in the fight, rather frustratingly. Meanwhile, at just before midnight on the 10th of September, Growler and Guardfish guarding Port Moresby have spotted the... Um, 
a task group coming into the area. Okay, I'm half tempted to target. It's not going to be a very good angle for the heavy cruiser, so I'm, I'm select the target of not the destroyer, the light cruiser there. The solution is oh, hang on, stop. Target that. So we get a narrower uh, field of view. Solutions building. Torpedoes will be coming in for the uh, for attacker now. You can see the torpedo wake. Here they come. One hit. Okay, thanks. Target that. Uh, we're going to do a small spread. See if we can hit it. Fire. Torpedoes away. Weren't destined for this heavy cruiser, but she's in the way. Oh, good hits. This is brilliant. We may also have ourselves a second heavy cruiser. Oh, and is the destroyer going to run into the front of her? I think she's gone. I think she's gone. She's gone already. Look. We might have us. Yes, there she goes. Meanwhile, here is Growler. You can see the problems of the destroyer there. Target the destroyer. Okay, there she is. Hatsuara. Hatsuara? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, torpedoes, rear torpedo tubes. Building up solution. A bit more of a spread, I think. Fire. Now, torpedoes, let's uh, dive down and get out of here. And we left there. Um, we take with us a heavy cruiser sunk for 8,700 tons and the destroyer heavily damaged with heavy, heavy flooding as well. Another 11 command points gained. Further attack on Port Moresby. However, our U boats are following them in. Okay, there we go. We've got a heavy cruiser, the Tone class cruiser here. Uh, we're Coming up to 60% solution. We're going to get the four torpedo tubes. Maximum of six again. We can get a good spread. Um, sorry, good solution. Then we've reduced the spread. But where's that? Oh, is that the damaged destroyer? Yes, it is. Okay, the guardfish is going to try and target this ship here. The destroyer that we saw last time. Building up a solution. It's not going to be a great solution. Put a bit of a spread on them. Fire. Then target the tone. Is the torpedoes coming in? One hit. Two hits. Duds. Yeah, nice. Fire. Okay, here is that destroyer which took damage last time and the torpedoes are incoming. Now, I've got a light cruiser going beside her. I think she's going to be going just fast enough to dodge these torpedoes. Unfortunately, maybe this one's got a good chance. The torpedo's going to be ahead of the wake, so it's going to be about here. So, yeah, so the front one's got a good chance of hitting. There we go. And those two are probably going to drift wide. No problems there. Going back to the cruiser. She's seen those torpedoes coming in and she is evading.
Oh, oh, it did hit. It did hit. Yes, I thought it was going to go the entire length of the ship, slowly rubbing the uh, the edge. Right, so she is listing. This destroyer over here is listing as well. She's listing quite heavily. Meanwhile, this one is on the warpath. So, confirmation. Another attack by our two submarines. No kills this time, but a destroyer badly damaged again. Heavy damage, heavy flooding. And the, uh, the tone heavy crews are also heavy damage and heavy flooding. And at 90 minutes past 6 on the 11th of September 1942, Task Force 15 has made it to the Renal Islands. Let's unload all cargo, blimey. Okay, so they got 7,500 troops here. 16,000 worth of supplies. Uh, what we do need to do is um, send some more supplies down here to Port Morsley because uh, unfortunately she's lost her um, airfield and she's lost her uh, she had port facilities of three which we could get our sh ships and stuff replenished but that has been lost to us unfortunately there's a, a, a potential sighting over there um, of course we've got uh, Dewey and we've got Portland it's got some damage uh, what's our Level three. Can can we um Okay, thank you. Can I select the task group? There we go. Lovely. So Portland, which one is also that oh a couple of these C three freighters. So you three, can I split you guys? And can you go for um release and repair? Oh, it must be within home port we must be okay so let's um, merge groups again then okay so here we are we've merged them once again task force 23 has been created let's get them heading back to the new Hebrides then we've got the cinema and class tankers waiting there uh, we get the Portland released and the C3 is released and repaired which means we'll have to rebuy them again but that's okay um, and we've got the destroyers doing um, patrol round here Right, so this is now uh, probably our furthest uh, port to get resupply for our ships. Obviously, we've got Cook Cooktown down here as well. Um, but yeah, that was a real loss, actually, Port Moresby. We're going to have to build that up again as well. But we've managed to sink a couple of heavy cruisers, which is great. Uh, if we just go for confirmation. Losses so far in this campaign. Today, of course, we lost... The Bonefish, the 10th of September 1942. Previously, we've lost Tautog, we've lost the Heavy Cruiser Northampton, and the uh, Gato Gato class submarines Greeling and Grouper. Enemy losses, however, starting to mount up now. Uh, heavy Cruiser Mayoko was sunk on the 11th of August. Uh, Type B submarines on the 13th, two of them. A um, Kamikaze Kazi destroyer for on the 17th. Also, a Type B submarine was on the 17th. The 19th of August, we sunk another Type B submarine. 23rd of August, we sunk a Nippon Maru Euler. 24th, a Type B submarine. 26th, and the 31st, we sunk a Nippon Maru Euler. And then on the 8th of September, we started off with a rocket attack on the Type B submarine when it sunk it. The um, oh, it was a uh, Aoboa heavy cruiser was the first one we sunk. We thought it was a. Do we think it was an uh, I ISE? I can't remember now. Uh, and uh, Furutaka heavy cruiser was also sunk. Nice, 13 ships in total, 84,150 tons. Ah, a bit of progress, big bit of progress, but it does feel like losing the um, the port is a bit of a bit of a blow, and the two heavy cruisers doesn't really uh, make up for that. But we're still in the fight. We're going to go strong. We're going to go hard again, and uh, fingers crossed we can. Um, what is actually? Let me just have a quick look. 
Let's have a look at battleships. What were we saving up for? 80. 50. We could buy two heavy cruisers. Maybe we should buy two heavy cruisers and go targeting their heavy cruisers. But a battleship would be um, certainly nice. What do you reckon? Put it in the comments below. A battleship. Save up for a battleship or should we get two heavy cruisers? Let me know in the comments below. And maybe we can do that next time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you then. Bye bye.